Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. It's a more of a little bit of a rant. Um, so, I logged into my YouTube control panel today, just, you know, to see what's going on, see if there's any new comments I need to respond to, anybody I need to be a smartass to, you know the drill. Uh, and I've been dealing with a lot of spammers lately on my channel that spam stuff about how to get free Bitcoin by running a script from a Telegram group, as you can see here. So as you can see, I had 15 comments held for review. I've deleted most of them before my brain went, oh, maybe I can make a video about this. If, if you're getting four Bitcoin that easily, Yeah, I think it's because I have the word minor in the title of the video, so that's why they're attracted to the video, because it is about cryptocurrency, parts of the video, so they're attracted to it because it hits that part of YouTube and it hits that audience. So I'm getting spammed with these things, and I actually had to go in and I had to add the word telegram and uh, different usernames that were posted in this thing i had to add all of that to my blocked word list which my block word list is so long on my youtube channel um that it's kind of ridiculous uh you can barely load the web page anymore because i just found a list of pretty much anything and everything you could ever need blocked and the only time that things usually get around it is if they use weird ascii characters that are like alt codes if you don't remember what alt codes are from uh, like middle school when you first discovered them when typing, you hold alt on your keyboard and then you do like stuff like that. So you hold um, alt on your keyboard and you just type using the number pad and they're called alt codes. So for example, you do 115 is an S. You do 015. That's not anything. You do 011 or 0155. It's that weird, like, arrow thing. You can get some really weird characters out of this. Like, there's some weird stuff you can do with this. You can definitely break some shit. 754, 856. There's just an X. 979. 828-8828-4444-44444. Like, you can get some weird stuff out of this, obviously. So, that's usually the only time something gets around my uh, blocked word list, but my blocked word list is so long. But this is just plaguing YouTube. It's terrible. And to have to come in here and delete 15 of them because they're just spamming the shit out of uh my channel with comments it's you know it's annoying and youtube has a problem and they need to add some form of like prove you're human before adding a comment to a video they really do and then the other thing that i want to kind of go over is if you're going to come ask me a question i love working with my i love talking to people who enjoy my channel you know it feels great when somebody thanks me for a tutorial because they couldn't find, you know, find it worded the way that they understood somewhere else or like completely unedited somewhere else. Um, they thank me because maybe they ran into the same problem I did while I was just recording the video. And that caused them to know how to fix the issue they ran into, even though I maybe didn't put that specific issue like in the tags and it didn't come up right away for them. So... Let's say I send you a video about IL-2 CPP modding. And no. Oh, that's going to be in every single one of my videos. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, let's say I send a video about IL-2 CPP modding. And, uh, you know, you want to know how to mod it correctly. Well, I send you the video because, one it start to finish how to do it what file to look at how to dump it where to get the dumping tool where to get the hexadecimal bytes um and it's explained how to use the hexadecimal uh bytes why is this private did i just never post this video 
It has 93 views. Huh. Anyway, so... If I send you all that information, and you watch the video, and you still come back to me and you ask a question, like, okay, so where do I... What do I do with such and such file? And I know at timestamp 245 in the video, it answers that question. I know you didn't watch the video. So what's what's the point in me wow i didn't know i had that um so what's the point in me honestly helping people or giving them answers if they're just not going to look anyway uh it, it really just kind of sucks it it sucks because it's a waste of my time you didn't put in enough time to even show initiative and things like that like uh you know i'm thankful for the guy that messaged me this morning he thanked me for the fact i'm putting up tutorials and stuff like that but he didn't know about IL to CPP yet because he found one of my videos about old DLL modding um, or DLL hacking for Unity 3D and he realized the game he was modding didn't have the DLL files so how does he mod it um, and he came and he asked me so I gave him a link to the video that explained it how to get the file where to download it comes back minutes later minutes literally minutes later and says, okay, I've edited this file. Where do I put it? And he says which file he modified. He modified the dump.cs. And if you know anything about downloading, uh, if you know anything about downloading um, or modding IL to CPP, you use hexadecimal bytes to modify the lib IL to CPP.so file simple enough really really stupid simple and he came back and told me he modified a different file i'm not going to say who he is because i don't want to like embarrass him or anything and he came back and he said okay where do i put this do i put this in i modified this file with notepad do i put it in this location this location or this location no you didn't even make it two and a half minutes through the video where i tell you okay open up il to cpp in a hex editor and edit it with hexadecimal which i sent a link for on how to modify it like don't be don't be stupid if i tell you a video answers every question you're about to ask me unless it's like how do i do a certain bite let's say you want to do an enum modification okay that i'll probably have to explain because it's not in the video but i have literally an entire web page uh right here i have literally an entire web page dedicated to v7a bytes so this is how to do a true statement how to do a false statement how to do an integer um and how to do a float so you can't really sit here and tell me like you don't know this stuff like granted i can understand asking okay how did you get 999 well that's actually a little bit more complicated. We need a uh, decimal to hex converter. And IL to CPP is strange, but you just simply use a decimal to hex converter. And let's say I want to do 32,000. No, we'll do 65,535. So, bad example. <laughs> 65,534. So doing this in um, IL to CPP, you would actually do FEFF -F instead of FFFE -F -E like it reads here. For some odd reason, it's backwards. That's the only, like, I can understand. I didn't make a video explaining that. And it's not in the video where I explain that because I didn't know that yet at the time when I made the video. I'll admit it. But when you just come back and you say, oh, I modified this file and I know blatantly it's the wrong file. And I know you didn't get that far into the video. What's the point in me answering your questions further? I'm probably just going to ignore you. That's not how you get, you know, positive help. It's really dumb. But, uh, okay, enough ranting. Um, as far as uh, anything else to do with the channel, I want to know what you guys want to see. Because it's really kind of hard for me to keep up and know what you guys want to see. Because, sure, I can keep doing these coding history videos with TechX and things like that. And I, I could start doing, like, the uh, 
um, 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 thrifting adventures with tech X for electronics. But realistically, I don't know if you guys want to see that stuff. I watch the watch numbers. I see what the numbers are to see what you guys watch the most. And, you know, I try to pay attention to that because, you know, that's what's going to tell me what's doing well, what's not. So, like, at the moment, um, my best video is the ADB toolkit for Android that I might be working on for work in open source. My next best video is an external Minecraft tool. And then, actually, the Jetta video did a lot better than I thought. So do I continue making the Jetta videos? Um, realistically, or Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition modding, 87 views, or the Rousing the Gotcha thingy, um, 143 views, that did really well because it's Pokemon Go. So do I make more Pokemon Go content again? Or, like, what do I do? Wow, COD data mining. I Maybe I should mod COD Mobile. Obviously, this got views because it's about Bitcoin, so all the bots are basically nailing it and raising the views. Uh, wow, this wasn't that long ago, actually. I didn't realize that. I was playing that track last night to see how I was doing. Um, but, like, it's... What videos should I keep doing? Do you guys... What do you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm done ranting for now. Sorry that this is Monday's video. This is the first video of the week is basically me ranting. Uh, but sometimes you just have to do it. And I'm not trying to sound like a shitty YouTuber that's complaining all the time. Because I, that's not what I want to be. But uh, seriously, don't be stupid. If you're going to ask a question, make sure you did your research first. And make sure you know the video that maybe I link you for the answer. Watch the whole thing. Because I know the answer is in that video. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.